Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Coach Brown, the Colorado Buffaloes, land another commitment coming from the transfer portal. And a player that we've talked a lot about over the last couple of months, former Vanderbilt and Miami Hurricane safety, Savion Riley, who there were a lot of Miami Hurricane fans that were fired up about Savion Riley coming to the Hurricanes during that winter portal window. And now look at Savion Riley and say, I like the fit of him coming to Colorado for a couple of different reasons. One, you're betting on some upside here. Savion Riley is a box checker in terms of the athletic profile that you're looking for at that safety position. He can do a lot of different things in the back end of a defense. But you know, more importantly, I really like the fit at Colorado where Miami was looking for an immediate starter at the safety position. And I mean, Savion Riley, although a very attractive athletic profile, didn't have a ton of experience, only being a redshirt sophomore. He has the opportunity to come to Colorado where he's not going to be asked to be a day one starter in that safety room with guys like Shiloh Sanders and Silmon Craig kind of in the back end solidifying that safety room. And a lot of people are asking about, I mean, what does it look like in 2025 and in 2026 for Coach Prime in this Colorado program? You're seeing Colorado, you know, bring some guys in the portal that are not necessarily one and done kind of guys, right? You look at Savion Riley, three years of eligibility, a really attractive athletic profile, get him into this program, let him learn behind some veteran safeties. And he's probably a guy that you can lean on in 2025, but at the very least provide some really good depth in the 2024 season, want to get into Savion Riley, kind of dive into what he brings to this Colorado defense before we get into it. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. And, it, and it's been a blast covering the transfer portal over the last couple of weeks. The amount of support you guys continue to show to the fellas truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And now, I want to start with why it might make sense for Savion Riley to come to Colorado. And I think a lot of Miami Hurricane fans, you know, will probably agree with this as well, where you know, we were all excited about Savion Riley coming to the Miami Hurricanes. I think the one question mark we had was Miami was looking to get a bona fide starter in that safety room. And although Savion Riley, again, has a lot of upside, he wasn't necessarily the most experienced safety you could have gotten in the portal. So I think him coming to Colorado, being able to, you know, kind of sit in that two and three deep and kind of sit behind guys like Shiloh Sanders, kind of get his legs under him, get a little bit more experience. And then you're looking at Savion Riley in 2025 and saying, this is a really talented safety that you can do a lot of different things with. And you dive into his redshirt freshman year at Vanderbilt. I thought he played some really solid football, almost 50 tackles, played over 413 snaps. And kind of what I want to highlight is, the versatility that Savion Riley brings to a defense in terms of 6'2", 200 pounds, he has the range, play primarily that free safety role in the back end where he has that frame, he has that range to really command a big portion of that deeper third, but also a guy that at 6'2", 200 pounds, you can put him in the box and really be a reliable asset in run support as well with that big body and frame that he has at that safety position. We talk about this all the time. You want these kind of bodies in the back end of your defense where a lot of college football offenses are trying to spread you out, get as much speed and athleticism as they can get on the field. And you have a guy in Savion Riley who can match that speed and athleticism, but also give you some of that run support ability as well, where I think this makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense for Colorado. I think it makes a lot of sense for Savion Riley. And the last thing I want to talk about is there's a lot of chatter about what Colorado is going to look like in 2025 and in 2026. And a lot of people are saying, if you're going to use the portal so much, what is the future going to look? Can you build a program through the portal? And although I think Coach Prime is going to start diving a little bit more into the high school recruiting, you can also grab guys that are young in the portal. You look at someone like Savion Riley, who – He's got three years of eligibility left. This is a guy that he can come into this program, maybe not be a starter in 2024, but you look at 2025, 2026, where a lot of people have question marks about what this program is going to look like and say, hey, Savion Riley can be a high upside safety over the next couple of years for this program, big body, versatile, and at the end of the day, 
and you're betting on some traits. I think it makes a lot of sense for him to land at Colorado where he can sit back, get developed for a year or two, and be that guy for Colorado over the next couple of years. We'll close it out on that. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas again. It's been a blast from me covering the portal. Can't thank y'all enough for rocking with it. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll talk to y'all later.